All right, everybody, and welcome to Watch Me Go Broke. Now, that low rumble you hear in the background is my air conditioning unit because it is like 150 degrees outside here today in southeast Texas, and I'm not shutting it off for the video. I usually do, but it is so hot. It's even hot in this room right now, but that's that's my problem. That's not your guys' problem, so I will uh, let you be. Uh, first things first, on my wrist today is that... Uh, Oh, old Submariner style watch homage that I did with a dial that I baked. Now let me let me let me take this off for a second. I because this is getting a little bit of hate uh, when I post this on Instagram and you know when I showed the video. Obviously, um, I don't know. I think this looks cool. I mean, I I understand why people hate it, and it's fine because it doesn't bother me. Let me zoom in on the dial here. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I think baking this dial turned out pretty well. Of course, it's got a little bubbles there, but I loved the uh, pumpkin-y kind of color that came out of those indices on there. So, and of course, you know, when, uh, when watches are, uh, you know, old and they start to patina, the hands don't match the indices anyway. They're a little bit darker. So I don't know, those hands don't match at all, but uh, I'm not sure why the hate, but I respect it and it's totally fine with me. And I love this watch. So uh, I'm going to keep it. Okay. So as I talk, I'm just going to keep you entertained with this little uh, measuring device here. Uh, the point of this video is uh, there's a bracelet that you can get for the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. And I did not know this. And I know they release this watch now on the bracelet. Didn't know that either. Um, so it was cool that I was able to find uh, some information on getting a bracelet for it. And I will tell you this, as you guys know, mine pretty much lives on this uh, parachute style strap or pajama, I don't know, elastic, not pajama style, but elastic style strap. Pretty cool, very militaristic. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, but as you guys know, I'm a bracelet guy. So without further ado, let me zero this out because I will be measuring some stuff. Here is the bracelet for the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. Yes, it is bead blasted. It matches uh, the case. Um, you know, it's uh, push pins, so not screw pins, but I, I love push pins. I almost prefer that. Uh, it's a little bit uh, less of a hassle, uh, just easy to pop in and out there. It is a four link bracelet, so it is uh, something that articulates pretty well. And of course with the, uh, uh, the uh, oh my goodness, my brain is failing me. The uh, drilled lugs, this is easy to change in and out. Uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, match up it completely uh, right as you see there, but uh, no big deal at all. The clasp is just a stamped metal clasp, fold over clasp with three micro adjusts. Um, it gets the job done. This is uh, a bracelet that's uh, pretty rattly, um, but I've tried numerous bracelets for this watch, and it, it they I couldn't find a single one in my collection from any watch, from any spares I have laying around could not find one that worked. So I just had to go ahead and get the original. Now how you get this is you have to call Hamilton's customer service. I will leave the number in the description below. You give them the uh, part number, which I will also leave in the description for you. The cost is $130 uh, plus $10 shipping and then of course tax. So that is a little steep uh, for a bracelet. And I understand that, but guys, I'm telling you, you're not gonna find a bracelet, at least with fitted end links, that's going to fit this and fit the finish. So um, yeah, it's also got uh, weirdly, which I don't understand really, it has this uh, little, for lack of a better better term, a uh, diver's extension. That's not what it is, but I guess you could put it over like a snowsuit or, you know, a military uniform or, you know, you know, military fatigues, if you will. Uh, you could stretch it over those if you wanted to. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a useless feature, but uh, three micro adjusts, you're going to be able to get the, uh, the perfect fit. Um, but yeah, I'm a bracelet guy. I love it. Here it is out in the wild on my wrist. And here it is out in the wild on my wrist. Uh, you know, the coloring, it takes a while to get used to. It almost looks titanium, 
not quite it's not quite as dark as titanium would be but you know it's a good looking bracelet so i will measure because i know the uh, lug width on this is 20. i just want to see if there's any taper okay so that's 20 there but let's see if there's any taper down to the uh clasp there yeah it tapers down to 18 it's not really a noticeable uh taper so you kind of get that uh, omega 300 m uh, kind of vibe on the bracelet there which i don't know i'm not a huge fan of bracelets that don't really taper but this is pretty good i would think uh think to yourself this is a seiko um a very seiko-esque bracelet that has a little bit of a better clasp and i say a little bit of a better clasp because it is very thin uh, the clasp super super thin there it's almost as thin as the uh the links so that's good there um and all of these links are independent so you're gonna get a very comfortable fit i think it is a great bracelet um you know you're not gonna find one if you want a bracelet for this you gotta get this it's pretty much the only thing so um yeah guys let me know in the comments what you think it's a field watch do you think it should be on a bracelet do you think it should ever be on a bracelet I don't know. Ever be? Not be? I'm not sure. I'm also probably drunk right now, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments, and I will see you next time.